Here comes Zaj again in a circle, shooting his guard. Gino was, uh, he was the ultimate teammate. It takes a long time to say everything you, I know about Gino because I was lucky, spent a lot of years with him. He was a true Canuck. I mean, he was a Canuck at heart. Here come the Canucks, Cordell in, they score! Gino! Ajik! Gino, the human being, took care of everybody. His sense of humor was amazing. There were a lot of times in difficult situations as a team, uh, you're in a rut or something, and he would just bring a, an air of lightness to the room. The youthful exuberance and passion for being out there. It, it just rubbed off on anyone. Domi and Ochik, they're two of the toughest guys in the league. I can just say that he was the greatest team guy. He would do anything for his teammates, his friends. And I think that he was loved because he was an underdog. He improved and worked hard at what he was doing and always surprised me with how he thought the game and, and, and his skill level. Let's corralled by Gino Ojic, and it's one nothing Canucks. I remember after a lot of practices, you know, he stayed over and uh, just working on his skills and he came around and, you know, turned the tables. Gino Ojic is a rather intelligent young man. He's the, the resident tough guy, but he also is very versatile in languages. He speaks three of them, English, French and Algonquin. He was a star on the ice, but he was a superstar, you know, in the First Nation community also. He certainly helped me appreciate Indigenous issues in a new way. I remember having some pretty detailed, intense conversations back in the 90s, and that was the beginning for me to, to learn and understand. I mean, we used to have two, 300 people from different bands watching our practices. Gino always had time, too. He always had time for his fans. Yeah, amazing guy to be a teammate with, but then even after that, just seeing what he did to the community, in the community, what he meant uh, to so many people was amazing. Just the way he carried himself and how he treated people was, uh, yeah gets emotional. <laughs> the communities he visited, the kids he, he spoke to, you know, and, and, and gave his message to. The whole community right across Canada is, they're gonna miss him.